underway with this significant event, you're welcome to gather a little closer if you can't hear me or you can't see. On behalf of the South Australia Police, we acknowledge this land that we meet on today is the traditional lands for the Ghana people and that we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the living Ghana people today. Good morning, I'm Chief Inspector Melissa Gilchrist and I welcome you all to this very special occasion of the announcement of the South Australia Police Officer of the Year for 2024. We welcome today Commissioner Grant Stevens, APM LEM, Assistant Commissioner Ian Parrott, Chief Superintendent Yvette Clark, Superintendent Cheryl Brown, Mrs Marie Louise Lees, District Governor for Rotary District 9510 in South Australia, Mr John Peacham, President of the Rotary Club of Unley, members of the South Australia Police and the Rotary Club of Unley. Today, the Rotary Club of Unley, in collaboration with South Australia Police, officially announces the name of the South Australian Police Officer of the Year. This award is sponsored by the Rotary Club of Unley, and the award recognises the outstanding and committed police officer who displays high standards of professionalism, performs significant acts of courtesy, kindness, understanding or courage, or handles a complex and difficult situation. This may also include significant off-duty community volunteering. And this year, there were 16 nominees for the award. It is now my pleasure to invite to the lectern Mrs. Marie Louise Lees, the District Governor for Rotary District 9510, and Mr. John Peacham, President from the Rotary Club of Unley. Mr. John Peacham will address us in relation to the award and the announcement of the recipient. Welcome. Thank you, Melissa. Good morning, everyone. It is again my privilege and honour as President of the Rotary Club of Unley to announce the winner of the Rotary Club of Unley's South Australia Police Award, Officer Award for 2024. This annual event, which we have successfully run since 1978, or 46 years, and we hope to continue for years to come. Such success is attributed to the exceptional long-term partnership we have shared with the South Australia Police, who annually support and endorse this signature event. We thank the Commissioner for the overall support of the event and acknowledge those in the South Australia Police, particularly the Corporate Events Unit, and those in our club from the Vocational Committee who have digitally directed their time and effort to once again carry out a myriad of tasks bringing the event to a conclusion and to arrange this important ceremony. To determine the, this award, the recipient of this award, we seek from statewide community nominations of police officers who have volunteered significant amounts of their time, contributing directly to the community causes, have consistently performed above the call of duty, as well as demonstrated attributes of kindness, courage, understanding and compassion. Each year the nominations continue to show the high quality and dedication of the police officers whose endeavours cover a broad range of important areas and once again 2024 has been no exception. We thank all those in the community who took the time to compile and submit nominations of these very worthy police officers. Making a choice is always difficult. As outstanding nominees, it gives me the great pleasure to announce the Rotary Club of Unley Police Officer of the Year for 2024, Senior Constable Chris Maley. <laughs> Senior Constable Chris Maley is a long-term police officer of the Limestone Coast local areas stationed in Narrapool and designated to the Family Violence Investigation Section. 
in this role for the past 12 years, he supports not only Narraquart but several towns in the upper and mid southeast region. Chris was nominated by Erica Vickery, with a background as the Mayor of Narraquart for 12 years and currently Chairperson of the Narraquart uh, Lucendale Community Care Network, supporting the Upper South East Domestic Abuse Support Program, which we will mention later. Recommendations all came, also came from a good friend in Narraquart businessman, Damien Ross. Through their submissions, we learned Chris is targeting a vulnerable and unengaging youth by providing, often in his own time, support, intervention and guidance, using his patience, high motivation skills and the ability to interact effectively. Examples are counselling youth on the prevention of substance abuse, criminal activities and making bad choices. His involvement in setting up a BMX track funded by the Narraquart and Lucendale Council, being heavily involved in offering, offering of alternate youth activities as a member of many committees, including that of the Council Sports and Recreation Committee. The most significant and lasting legacy of Chris's work has been the result of his vision for community groups to work in partnership to break the cycle of domestic violence and to help victims of child abuse, those escaping domestic abuse and helping victims resettle after domestic trauma. When Chris arrived in the South East, the only services were based in Mount Gambia, 100 kilometres from Narraport and nearly 200 kilometres from Peace and Border Town. As a result was the formation of the Upper South East Domestic Abuse Program funded by donations and funding activities with the support of local service groups and business sponsorship. Immediate assistance can be provided to people who approach a domestic abuse service. Approval can be made in minutes for helping very affected individuals and families. Secure and safe accommodation is now available with the mid and upper South East. It is no mean feat to be the architect of this project in an area where distance can make providing the much needed much more difficult. Currently Chris is working in schools to educate teenagers about what are appropriate and respectable behaviours in a relationship. The strategy of the day is to prevent domestic violence. He has created the Respect Award which will be rolled out later this year. Overall Chris has earned the admiration of the community he serves. References such as, Chris's caring heart inspires him to provide kindness and humanity during times of vulnerability and leadership which serves as an excellent role model to the community. I personally have never met or worked with someone with so much passion to fix and improve the support of victims of domestic abuse, which is predominantly women and children. Chris always makes himself available, whether it's a serious crisis or someone needing a chat, regardless of the day or night, on or off duty. Chris meets many of the attributes we took for thus and thus a very worthy winner of the South Australia Police Award for 2004. Can you please join me again in congratulating Constable, Senior Constable Chris Maley. Thank you, John. I now invite the Commissioner of Police, Grant Stevens, APM LEM, to receive the Perpetual Shield from Miss, Mrs. Marie Louise Lee. The Perpetual Shield details every recipient of the award and is proudly on display at South Australia Police Headquarters. Today we have four Perpetual Shields that cover 45 years of the award. I now invite Commissioner Stevens to give his address. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, you've already heard about the, the reason and the way we select the 
only Rotary Club Police Officer of the Year, the year so I won't, I won't revisit that. But I just want to acknowledge the fact that, uh, as was already explained, this year was a very competitive process uh, where, in partnership with the Rotary Club of Unley, uh, we were able to identify a worthy recipient for Police Officer of the Year 2024. Chris Maley has a strong connection with communities across the limestone coast in his role as a family violence intervention officer. His perseverance and creativity have initiated community-focused approaches to assisting victims of child abuse and those escaping domestic violence and helping victims resettle after experiencing domestic violence trauma. He's been the driving force behind the establishment of the Upper South East Domestic Abuse Program which has been invaluable in overcoming the lack of available support in the region. The groundbreaking program provides immediate access to funds to assist those in life-threatening domestic violence situations and offers a range of financial support to victims and their families, such as emergency accommodation, supplies, food, clothing and transport costs. Chris has garnered significant community support for the program through donations, business sponsorships and fundraising events. He's been a key part of his community since arriving in Narracourt in 20, 2010 after 15 years of policing service in the United Kingdom. Locals appreciate his kindness, compassion and humanity and one of his nominees described him as an extraordinary individual with a caring heart. Chris is highly respected and serves as an outstanding role model in the community. The importance of Chris's tireless work in supporting domestic violence victims cannot be understated and I'd like to thank Chris for his commitment and passion in this challenging area of policing and for the steadfast support of vulnerable members of the community. Chris, congratulations on being SAPOL's Police Officer of the Year for 2024 and can I thank again the Rotary Club of Unley for sponsoring the award and through it promoting the human face of policing. Thank you. Commissioner Stevens. Now invite Mrs. Marie Louise Lees and Mr. John Peacham to present Chris Bailey with his Police Officer of the Year Award. Senior Constable Chris Naley to come forward and say a few words. I can assure you, um, <laughs> thank you, everybody, and thank you so much. Thank you. As you're probably telling my voice, I'm extremely humbled and touched to be receiving such an award. And this is because policing has meant so much to me and it's been such a huge part of my life. But that said, it's been an extremely exciting life. And I suppose when you're, when you're having fun, time goes by extremely quick. So to be receiving this award at the 30 year mark, makes it even more special and like so many police officers it just shows that we never ever lose that passion for what we do. My last few years working in family and domestic violence has certainly had its challenges however establishing such a close partnership with the community of the upper southeast has meant we're now placed in a far better position to be helping victims and survivors through their trauma and whilst at the most vulnerable. 
With this assistance of community input and partner agencies, we're keeping victims safe, supporting them, to help restore their dignity, respect and confidence that may have been lost through their experience. This partnership model has also allowed people to escape violence, it save lives and is unique in what it has to offer. I personally put the success down to the dedication of individuals and the cohesion of such a wonderful, caring community. I coined the phrase, community united by compassion. We are seeing a very meaningful difference being made to people's lives, and what's been achieved in the last two years is anything to go on, then the future looks very, very bright. I use this opportunity to thank everybody and I share this award, I cannot take it on my own, I share this award with the community of the Upper South East and all those that I work with, both inside and outside of South Australia, please. I also use this opportunity to thank everybody, which includes sports clubs, no, I'll be okay. businesses, community groups, service groups and partner agencies. A special thank you goes to Erica Vickery, who has worked with, with, worked with me from the beginning to create new initiatives, including the creation of the Upper South East Domestic Abuse Support Programme. I know some of my colleagues are here, so I'm likely to get some stick of this, but I genuinely thank my management team and the Limestone Coast for their trust in me and for being so supportive of my ideas, especially Detective Senior Sergeant Scott McCudden, Senior Sergeant Sam Martin, Detective Sergeant Glenn Shepherd. Inspector Will Humphreys and Superintendent Cheryl Brown. Finally, I thank the most important people in my life, and that's my family. I thank them for their endless support and encouragement in everything I've done and I do. Moreover, I thank them for their patience, because I have a tendency to put work first, and I don't think I, don't think I could live with me. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Can I please have another round of applause again for South Australia Police Officer of the Year 2024, Senior Constable Chris Mayling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our presentation here today. I'd like to thank the Rotary Club of Unley for their ongoing support, the Royal Adelaide Show Management Team for the use of today's venue, our Corporate Events Unit and the Band of South Australia Police. In closing, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you all to give serious consideration to nominating a worthy police officer from your community next year when the Rotary Club of Unley once again seeks nominations for the Police Officer of the Year Award. Keep a look out for posters in your local community in June 2025 and check their website. I'd like to invite the invited guests for a light luncheon and thank you kindly for your attention and have a great day.